In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make use of your Microsoft 365 to transcribe 300 hours of audio or video files at no extra cost. Hi and welcome to the Freelance Channel. My name is Florante and if this is your first time here on the Freelance Channel, consider subscribing. We provide tutorials, video walkthroughs, and tips for those who are into online freelancing and of course for those who are planning to dive into the gig economy. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can make use of your Microsoft 365 subscription to record audio, transcribe audio, as well as video files. So what exactly do you need? The first thing that you will need is a Microsoft 365 subscription. If you haven't subscribed, I have an affiliate link in the description which you can use to sign up and support this channel. Microsoft 365 family plan is $469 per month, or you can opt to subscribe to their yearly plan for 4,699 pesos and save 16%. So aside from Microsoft 365, you also need to have an audio or video file. Now, if you don't have either of the two, you can record directly into the Word document. And of course, finally, since this is a browser base, you'll need to have internet connection. The faster internet connection that you have, the better. Now to start transcribing, First thing that you need to do is to launch Microsoft Word in your browser. Go to office.com forward slash launch forward slash word. All right, so you can click on the link in the description. Once you have Microsoft Word open in your browser, be sure that you are logged into your Microsoft Office 365 account. The next thing that you will need to do is to create a new blank document. And in the toolbar, look for dictate and click on the drop down arrow, then choose transcribe. Now you can transcribe an audio or video file by uploading your file. Now you just have to make sure that you have your file in the following format. There are currently four file formats that are accepted and that is WAV, MP3, M4A, and MP4. Once you have uploaded or once you have completed your recording, you'll just go ahead and choose the language used in the video or audio file. So you just have to pick which one is your recording or your video uh, language is. Now, if you're going to ask how fast can Microsoft Word transcribe a file, transcription speed will depend on two major variables. First is the length of your audio or video file, and second, the speed of your internet connection. Longer files means you have a larger file size and longer upload times. But if you have fast internet, that means you can upload faster and quicker upload time means quicker transcription output. Accuracy is also something relative, but it follows a simple rule. If you have a good audio quality with clear pronunciation, you'll get a relatively good and accurate transcript. So you have to make sure that you record using a decent mic. Right now, I'm making use of an Audio-Technica ADR2100 to record this video. And you will know that the quality is a lot better than, of course, making use of just a built-in audio or just a built-in microphone on my computer. So, is the Microsoft 365 transcription for you? Well, doing transcription with Microsoft Word is not for everyone. If you want files in SRT or VTT file formats, unfortunately, transcribing with Microsoft Word is not for you because the transcription format is only available in docx format or .doc. If you want automated removal of ums and ahs, this is also not supported. However, you can always use the find and replace function to get rid of the filler words. And if you are an old school transcriber who is more comfortable using foot pedals when editing, then this is not for you as well. 
Just to recap, here are some of my observations on what pros and cons you will have uh, in terms of making use of Microsoft Word to transcribe. First thing for the pros is, of course, there's no extra cost if you are already subscribed to Microsoft 365. You have the ability to set expiration date of sharing the transcription with a team member, and you can also password protect document to avoid unwanted access. There is direct editing into Word, and you can also collaborate with your team. Now, some of the things that I think can be improved on or, or some of the consequences of making use of Microsoft Word for transcription is that this is limited to 300 minutes only. Right now, I have not seen or have not heard of any way that you can add minutes. If, say, for example, you have exceeded the 300 minutes allowed. Another drawback in making use of Microsoft Word for transcribing is that you can't use it offline. You have to have an internet connection so you can transcribe your file. Also, for some of you who would like to have a standalone program or a standalone software, this one thing that will probably draw you away from Microsoft Word as a transcription tool is that it's browser-based only. Hopefully, they will be able to provide this feature for those who are making use of the Microsoft Word desktop version. Now, in addition to these cons, you will also notice that there's very limited format options when exporting. And in addition, you can't transcribe using links. Say, for example, if they provide you with a link to your video, uh, it's not like some or most of the automated transcription tools that will actually enable you to transcribe just by providing the link, say, to a video or to an audio file or to a Dropbox link. All right, so that's it. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you want to get more productivity videos like this, then be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Leave the dream life without leaving the home.